What is up? What is up? Welcome to another fight simulation. This one is going to be for the bantamweight title. And this one is going to be for UFC, UFC 273, the co-main event. Aljamain Sterling versus Piotr Jan. Now these two guys fought once before. They fought on the 6th of March 2021. And of course we all know how that happened. Um, he, uh, he lost. Piotr Jan lost his belt to Aljamain Sterling uh, due to disqualification. Piotr Jan threw an illegal knee at Aljamain in round number 4. Um, and so Aljamain was crowned the champion in the weight class. Of course, this is extremely controversial. Aljamain has been clowned left and right for it. You know, everyone's pretty much saying that he was acting. He wasn't as hurt as he pretended to be after that knee. But I mean, if, we, if we're being completely honest, that knee connected pretty heavily. And it, it did look like a fight ending knee. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that he was 100% hurt. But uh, it looked like a heavy knee to me. Um, but that's all besides the point. These two guys are going to fight again. There's going to be a rematch. And I think this one's going to be a lot more interesting than the first one. Like the, In the first fight, we all came in thinking that for sure, um, Aljo was going to have like the wrestling advantage. And I think that is the biggest surprise for all of us watching the fight. Is the fact that Piotr Jan was able to take him down repeatedly. He was able to trip him over and over again. And it was also very surprising to me personally how wild Aljo was. Like, if you go back and rewatch that fight, Aljo was given his back repeatedly over and over again. He was pretty much fighting too excited. Like, someone who uh, who was trying to get the fight done as soon as possible. He, he wasn't patient at all. Holy fuck. Piotr Jan is just 27 years old? That can't be correct. Really? He's that young? And oh my god. Anyways, it's going to be very interesting to see how this one plays out. Um, Jan has been known to start very patiently, to start slow in his fights. So, uh, watching that, for that first fight back, um, Aljo definitely uh, got a few rounds on him. But it, again, it's because Jan has been known to start slow, uh, watch what his opponent is doing, pick up on cues, pick up on rhythms, pick up on like patterns, and then go from there before imposing his game and that is exactly what he did to uh, to Aljo but in this fight I wonder if he's going to do the same considering the fact that these two guys have already fought Jan already knows exactly what to expect from Aljo they, they share the octagon for four rounds and he was winning that fight so I don't think anything is going to be that much of a surprise to him so this rematch is going to be very interesting to see how quickly Jan starts. And it's going to be interesting to see as well what changes, if any, we're going to see from Aljo. But we're going to check out this fight simulation right here. You guys seem to enjoy it. I, see, I, I enjoyed them as well. They're, they're really fun. I'm hoping this one is interesting. I'm hoping that the fight doesn't just hit the ground right away and somebody gets submitted. I'd like to see this one go a bit longer. That would be ideal. But um, either way, either way, I think it's going to be a fun, fun fight simulation. What's going on with this? So right now, these two guys are being introduced. Will Aljamain Sterling retain his belt? Are we going to hear and new? Can't wait to find out. All right, here we go. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Aljo goes to touch gloves. Jan tells him, book right off, boy. Here we go, baby. Oh, they finally touch. Okay. Look at that. Jan with that beautiful block counter. All right, let's see. Uh-huh. Let's see. Very, very curious to see how quickly Aljo takes this one to the ground. Uh-huh, there it is. There's the clinch. There's the collar tie. And there is the double leg. Denied very well. Collar tie by Piotr Jan as well. Oh, my God. He is going for it. Jan and Southpaw. This is something that Jan does very well. He switches stances very well. He fights very well from conventional and Southpaw. 
All right, looks like Aljo is being very patient right here. Not going too crazy. Looking for his opportunities to get a collar tie and maybe look for a, a takedown. Jan looks for a call. There's a double leg, easily denied as well. Oh, look at that beautiful head movement. They're both being fairly patient. Jan hits him with a beautiful side kick to the body followed by a hook. There's a whiffed overhand body-body combination. And Jan moves away. Moves away to get, regain some of that stamina. Aljo retaliates with a front leg side kick to the body. And so far, these two guys are doing a good job of block. Oh, he gets hurt. Oh, oh, boy. Jan is hurt. Yo, oh, my God. Look at the combination from Aljo. He let it fly right there, bro. He absolutely let that one fly. There's a collar tie. Collar tie to double leg to over under. What happens? Nice. Very interesting transitions right here. There's a shot to the body. Looks like Jan is starting kind of slow again, man. He's getting hurt. Call a tie. Reversed by Aljo. Is he going to turn this into a takedown? No, he didn't. Ooh, Jan shows him a spin. There is an overhand whiff. Oh, this one's, this one's going to be a long fight. Jan needs to be very careful with that block counter when he throws that overhand, man. Because Aljo can block that overhand and counter him very well. It's going to be nasty. There's a teep to the body. Nice leg kick. So, so far, Aljo is the one that drew blood in this first round. Aljo fighting very patiently, man. Very technical on the feet, too. So far, Jan is keeping things in Southpaw. There's a beautiful takedown. Denied. Aljo is also doing a good job of switching stances. Look at that beautiful jab. Overhand. Nice. Oh, beautiful turn in. Side kick to the head. That was close. Uh-oh. Here we go. Nice counter. Beautiful leg kick into an overhand. Color tie by Aljo. He whiffs that front leg side kick. Which can be very dangerous if Jan takes a... Oh, boy. Look at the movement from Jan. Look at the, look at the movement from Pyotr Jan. He's just trying to... Look at the, I mean, the, the way this fight is starting right now is pretty good. Both guys are, like, respecting the hell out of each other. But so far, right now, Aljo seems to be, as always, there's a takedown, and he gets it. Beautiful. Al Jermaine Sterling is winning this fight right now. He's more aggressive... He's taking advantage of opportunities more, uh, looking for those openings, countering very well, stringing long combinations together. And right now, he's on the in, he's in half guard top. He passes to side control. Kazakatami, is he gonna deny that? Nope. Jan makes his way. Jan was about to get back to full guard, but Alja denies that. Jan tries to reverse him. Aljo denies that. Takes his back. Both hooks in. He's going to throw a few shots. And this round is going to be over. Bro. Oh, my God. Aljamain Sterling is absolutely winning this fight. Get up, boys. Get up. Get up. The round is over. Damn. I believe that's the voice of Matt Sarah that we hear. In the background right there. Look at that. Look at this beautiful knockdown, bro. Aljo stringing together combo. Look at that left hook. Boom. That left hook bleeds through. Followed by this nasty body kick. As he was falling down. Look at this. Boom. Boom. Reminds me of Khalil Roundtree. His, 
his finish in his last fight. Whereas the opponent was standing up, he blasted a kick to his body. Uh oh, there's a touch. All right, let's see what Jan is going to do in this round. Because that last round, he absolutely lost it. Definitely lost that last round. He got rocked, he got taken down, his guard was passed. He was grounded and he was almost put in the submission. Look at how Jermaine Sterling doing a very good job with that turn in side kick to the head. He is throwing it from fairly close boxing range and he gets hurt and sat down. He got caught with a front kick as he was ducking. Kyodian has equaled. Oh my god, he catches him with an uppercut as he was about to go for a double leg takedown. Wow. And Aljo rocks him. Is that going to be a knockdown? Now it's a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Call a tie, reversed, elbow, elbow. Now we got a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Aljo flashing that spin. Jan better watch out. There's a takedown. Denied. All right. It almost feels like Jan needs to go back to conventional, to his, to his orthodox stance, because standing southpaw doesn't seem like he's getting much done from southpaw. Look at this beautiful transition to the back. That was beautiful. All right, let's see what Jan does here. Uh-oh. Aljo goes to dump him, but Jan is able to hook hook that back leg to prevent that from happening. All right, they, separ they separate. All right. Head kick. Whiff. Jan got to be careful with that overhand, man. If he gets caught with a front. Oh, that was so close. Beautiful head movement by Jan. It's a competitive one. There's a front kick again. Beautiful. Double leg. Denied. After a while, man, these double leg attempts will start to take its toll on Aljo. Absolutely. Look at that. Jan Wach... Not Jan Wachowicz. Pure Jan. Pure Jan. Trapping him against the cage a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Jan back in conventional. I think he should stay in conventional. He does a better job right here, in my opinion. Look at that. His boxing seems to be better when he when he's in this stance. See that? Doing a good job. Now watch him get rocked. <laughs> now that I just said that, watch him get rocked. Yeah, but I was staying this. I was staying this stance. It seems like. He's doing a better job here. Look at this. Moving very well. Oh, ho. Send him back to the cage. Yo, Jan shoots for a double leg, which gets denied. Sprawled by Aljo. He pulls him into half guard, and he gets mounted. Oh, my God. All right, now what Aljo is going to be looking to do is probably get right back to mount again, posture up, and start running down blows. He secures an underhook, gets his way to side control. Now he is in crucifix. This is not good. Crucifix, gets a Katami, back to regular side control, and there is a freaking joke. Oh, my God. Come on, Jan. Got to get out of there, bro. Got to get out of there. Can't let this one end here, sir. Cannot let this one end here. Oh my god. No. Dude. Oh no. Come on, Jan. I think Jan's gonna be fine. I think he'll be okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he reverses him into full mount. I just did not want a submission right now, bro. Not right now. All right. So, so far... Aljamain Sterling is out grappling Jan Wachowicz. Look at that. Underhook tries to sit up and roll him to full guard, but he misses it. Aljo gets the underhook, secures him into Kezakatami. My man rolls to... Oh, boy. Rolls to Turtle. Aljo has a few options right here. He's going to roll to the back, but nope. Jan denies that. 
Back to side control, and they're going to, the round is going to end. Man. So clearly, we're seeing an advantage on the ground for Aljamain Sterling. That's what we're seeing right now. If this continues to go this way, there's a very, very good chance that that Jan is going to get submitted. But I wonder who's winning this fight. Because Aljo was able to rock him in the first round. I don't know if Aljo sat him down in the first round, though. I know he rocked him. And in round number two, Jan was able to get... Wait, is Jan's ear doing the Shrek? Yo, is Jan's ear doing the Shrek? Are we about to see Shrek ears, man? <laughs> Are we about to see Shrek ears? I don't want that. Beautiful cross to knock him out of that Superman punch. Oh boy. Nice. We are in round number three, boys. Round number three. This fight's going longer than I thought it was going to go. There's a collar tie again. Collar tie back. Uppercut, uppercut to the body. Beautiful combination by Jan. Oh! He gets him with a tip. Wow. Nice deny. Oh, head kick. If Purion would have gone for a front kick right there, that would have been a nasty, nasty rock. All right. Let's see. To the body. Oh, he's rocked. Purion is rocked. Aljo got a rock right there. Oh my god! What just fucking happened? Oh my goodness. What? What? What was that? Hold on. I need to see the replay. Yo! God, a right hook. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. Wow. Fourteen seconds of round. That is three. one of the. the winner by we got a new. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot believe that! I cannot believe that KO! That is insane! I've. N Dude, that is one of those KOs that just happens. It's so emphatic, it's so instantaneous. You don't even see what the hell happened. You gotta wait for the replay to show you what happened. That was. That was. That was nuts. You guys are going to love the shit out of this out of this fight simulation. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's take a look at the stats here. Okay, so their strike numbers are about the same. Accuracy is about the same. Significant strikes, Aljo definitely landed more significant strikes, but he also threw more. Takedowns, he was able to get one out of 10 attempts. Let's see who was winning the fight. Oh, look at that. Look at that, just about even. Man, what a fight. What a fight. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section if you guys could see what the KO was or what resulted in that KO the moment it happened. Or just like me, did you have to wait until the replay to actually see what happened? Let me know in the comment section. But man, that's it. That is it. We're going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like on the video. It helps out the channel. And I will see you guys later with a brand new one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good night, boys.